Howdy guys, welcome back to Scrap Motor Garage and hopefully what will be the last episode on EB. Um, this episode is still tidying up little bits. Um, I've done a lot off camera and I'll fill you in with what I've done now. Enjoy. As you can see I've got the Dock hard off, I'm looking in here. Um, I did have all the center console apart. Sorry, my son's book there. Um, I pulled the electric switch apart and looked into it, cleaned it out again. Um, when I did that, drives window stopped going up, going to go down, and nothing else. So I made it worse. So I took it apart, had a look at some solders drains on it. I resoldered it a lot. They look cracked and not very good. Just real old. Now all the windows work. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Ah, six folds. Okay. So this one, memory, you guys can remember it didn't work at all. I had to take the tint off and it was, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's no good. So it's good now. Um, my phone just connected to the Bluetooth in here and then stopped recording for some reason. And drives one. That works now. All good. When I took this off, probably carried on about it in an earlier video, but it all looks brand new in there. Like, never been touched. It's even got the plastic uh, insulator in there, which I might have. Um, just broken a little bit in a few places. But yeah, this back door one here works. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work now because, yeah, I've already unplugged it and it's a complete circuit, so the back one has to be plugged in to make this one work. And if that one's stuffing up and jammed on, um, that overrides this front switch, so it won't work either. But yeah, so it works up and down real slow. That's why I'm taking the card off to lube up the runners. And that back one there, uh, that does go down. Wants to go up, but don't go up, so that regulator's no good. So I will open that one up and fix that up too. Other than that, it's all coming together. Oops. Um, I did... Yeah. So I'll fill you in. Sounds like my car alarm, but it's so good. Yeah, so what happened was, blew the tail shaft bearing out. Um, sent the bearing like the Falcons. Basically couldn't drive it. No other cars. So everything's a project right now. So I threw this up for sale, trying to just get rid of it to get a car, to get by. But in the meantime, the father in law let us his car, so it was all good. Um, I kept it up for a few more days, just seeing what kind of office I'd get anyway. Uh, a lot of crap. People were offering me BA XR6 non turbos with like 250 plus thousand Ks for a straight swap. So I don't know. I thought this would be worth more because it's a one of one and it is an EB XR8. I know it needs some paint work and some body work, but I figured it would be worth more than that. But I guess everyone wants everything for nothing. So I took it down and I've been working on all the little bits. So I've got electric windows working. But this morning uh, I was having a good think about it actually last night and if that ever happens again with this stupid European thing uh, we'll be stuffed again. So um, yeah and it's a tough time. Not I'm not made of money so what, what I need to do is um, I need to sell this. I need to get another car, a second car, so I can daily. And if anything happens to the family car, we have a backup because that kind of screwed us. I had family visiting from interstate as well at the exact same time. It happened on the way to get them the tail shaft blew out from the airport. Um, it's just stressful. I almost had a mental breakdown because everything was on me. So yeah, I need to. I don't want to get rid of this car, but even if I do get it running. My wife can't drive a manual, so it won't be a backup because I work away and she wouldn't know what to do with this. 
she'll bunny hop it through the wall and park it in the lounge room probably. So yeah, as much as I ride this car and enjoy it. I have got it up for sale again for I don't know amount. I've put up one, two, three, four price and to throw me an offer or a swap. Um, I've listed everything I've done and you guys know what I've done anyway, so if it um yeah, is something anyone's interested, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook for with a price and until then I'm just gonna keep tinkering. I can fix the windows now. Um, just needs a back right regulator, which if it doesn't sell before then I will replace it. I'm just gonna keep going as if I'm gonna uh, finish it off minus the bodywork because I was just gonna drive it like this anyway. Now I just got a message, someone wants to swap something for this car. Let's see what it says. So Yeah. I told this guy earlier on that I want 12 to 13 K for this, how it is, not registered. Uh, nothing, you know, how it is. It, it runs, needs the brake works, you know, driver's brake, front brake doesn't work and all that. He's um, just a sort of BA FPV silver ute. Manual. <laughs> it's not really ideal what I want. <laughs> He'll put a swap for that. And for this, um, plus 15k his way. So the EB 15k and I can have an FPV manual for shoot you, which isn't what I'm really looking for with the family. But you know, temptations and whispering because my wife is just on the other side of the garage. Uh, shit, he just sent more photos. I gotta keep working. Yeah, right, it's a beautiful car. I said I ever think about it. Uh, it's definitely on the opposite end of scale of what I'm after. A manual and a ute. That's not going to fit the family. And this is a manual anyway. Uh, here we go, 13k was cheap for this. So I, I, I can't work anyone out. Anyway, I'm going to keep working. Um, lube the store up. I bought lube. Alright. You filthy bastards. Lube it up and get it going. I guess it's like... I don't know, five days later, I can't remember the last thing we were talking about, I think I was mentioning about a um, car swap offer for shoot you, I didn't, that fell through. Um, not, yeah, it's not really what I wanted, and he sort of started humming and hiring as well, so I said don't worry about it. Yeah, so anyway, back to what I was doing, so, I'm going to vacuum out bits of rust in here. And I want to spray up the runners and see how she goes up and down. Alright, um, where's my vacuum? So I just went and I popped the bonnet to hook up the battery so I can do the windows up and down. I left it on the whole time for like a week. Then I went in there and I had the ignition on the accessories. And I thought, yeah, shit, <laughs> now I've done it, the battery will be flat. Still good, still cranks. So I've got no. No draw anywhere on accessories, which is surprising. I've had cars in better condition that go flat after a week of being left in accessories. Anyway, I've got to hook up the switch so I can use the window and go up and down, get some fluid in here. Ah, oh, fluid. I'll probably. Oh, such a mess. Always. Yeah, yeah, I've got some of this. I'll use that one again. I've been through that one other videos. Alright, uh, switch. Alright, it's done. It um, moves really, really good now, but it's really loud. I don't know if the motor is on its way out or just something. Not happy, but... So down. Up. might keep trying to lose some stuff up and <laughs> see if I can fix that. Well, I uh, greased up the runner in the center where the cable runs and it goes up and down without other noise, but also I tapped the motor with the spanner 
and now it makes a real bad noise. <laughs> it's got rid of that whining noise and now it's replaced it with another one. But whatever. So what I'm, I'm going to do now is get the tint off like the other one. I won't even bother bringing you guys in to see the progress because it's crap. So yeah, I'll um, bring in when it's done. It's done. Same as that one. And this one's next. But I'm not going to lie. It took me 20 minutes. I got the heat gun ready. I decided to scrape a little bit where the bubbles were with the blade and it just came off so easy. I don't know what that front one's problem was. It's being a dick to me the whole time. This one, ah, just wanted to come off. And off it came. There's someone there too. Alright, we'll get this one off. That won't take long. And then I'm going to move on to that door to see if I can't fix the regulator. I'll just prop the window up and then the drivers just to clean the tent because that one works fine. Cool. She's all done on this side. Yeah, well, happy. Like I said before, I got the other sides. I forgot about this stupid back window. I'm pretty sure they won't pass it with the window like that, so I do need to do that one. Um, in the meantime, gotta stay hydrated. What the hell is this? Oh, my brother. When I visit them in Tassie, I had my beer cans leave with the farm in trees and stuff. And uh, he was here not long ago and cheeky little devil. Hit a can up there. Alright, anyway. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Other side, let's go. Alright, onto this side. Put that one all together. Um, yeah, it's never by the looks of it. Still factory sealed. So it'll be all the original, yeah. Same rivets. And just seeing all this dirt in here. Remember when I took the seat out ages ago and the wires running up and there's all dirt pulled up on the top of it? Like it water drained out. It's definitely the same shit. But you know, I could be wrong. The car seems to Yeah, you know, I mean, did a lot of work to get to this point, but um it's not too bad really. The electrics aren't that bad at all. Everything works. I hate this shit. Mm, neat. Real neat. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah. Seeing. Pretty sure the motor's just buggered, but to try and get it up. So I'll get this cover off and start digging in. Okay. So I've run some power you know, directly to it and that, and yeah, the, the cables are, it's fucked. So I've got it like this much. No, I had that way more than that. Hold on. Yeah, see that much? <laughs> but it slides down. So what I do is, I'll keep working at it, but while I can move it, I'll get the tint off. Then I'll get it all the way up. I'll prop it up in there, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll disconnect the switch so no one can accidentally put it down and give it a gap again. Even though it'll be propped up, just be better. So I'll get the tint off and then yeah, no worries. There we go, windows are done. Side windows. It's gonna go into the back. Alright, let's do it. Hey guys, next day I am. Um, got in the beers last night, watching the footy, so I'll stop recording. Um, from that rust, you can see it. I just give it a light coat of paint all the way along just to make it look one colour. It's not too bad, those bubbles here popped out and just whatever. Don't care, honestly. Like I do, but I'm just you know, more into getting ready for sale. <sighs> Loud neighbors. Yeah, so the windows are done. So did this back one. 
pretty sure I was thinking about it when I've been defected before. They won't pass if you've got bubbly back window, so I'm assuming it would be the same for just interstate inspection. If it's obvious, they won't pass it. Um, I'll take you over here, see what I've done. So have that big chip in here I was telling you about, so I bought a repair kit. It's in the last stage of it now. It looks like it's filled it pretty good. You can still see it there, but the holes that the chip isn't as bad. Um, where are we? Ah, uh, there. So you can still see the crack in that, but hopefully it's filled it enough not to be so obvious. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that one. All right, I'm gonna stick on the rear view mirror. I just need to find it. Like everything. Oh, here it is. Oh, hey. I might uh, yeah, I'll give it a clean first. Well, I just need the, this bit off to glue on. And then once it's set, I will slide it on. Why is it wet? It's covered in some sort of shit. I don't know. Alright. <sighs> yeah, so nothing simple. People have to touch things and not know what they're doing. So I had to hammer this out, I had to drill it out first because the grub screw that's in there was just mush, gone, someone fucked it. Then I had to, yeah, see the damage in there, I had to hammer it out in the vise. Still some thread in there, even. Yeah, that's how it was, it was like on that angle when it should have been down there. So now I can glue this on finally and then um, fix this up so it will slide on. Oh crap, which way does it go? That way. Okay, easy, the one that's all damaged. So that would be... Oh, it comes out, it was so stuck before. Um, yeah, so if that goes there... there so... Do, 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 do. All right, yep. So that'll be. Eh. Yeah, this mirror sits like that. You got the tab down here. So then it goes that way. So, oops, the hammered bit will be the top. Yeah, and it slides in from the top. So it sticks that side. Yes, so that's, that's the top. Bad side. All right. Easy. All right, clean the surfaces up and glue it on. Yeah, I don't want to use. Probably use some JB Weld. Never come off then. Yeah, she's stuck on. Just use a bit of tape to hold it in place, but it'll be no problems. Pretty centered. It doesn't need to be spot on because the mirror has all the movement in it. Yeah, you can go side to side on both ends, and then yeah. Anyway, stuck on. I did make a list at the start of the show, this episode, but I just didn't. Um, take it off, really. Ugh, if we threw it. Uh, I'm not doing that because the brake's fine. It's just the ABS unit. Don't care. Paint areas. Uh, not all of it. I've done some. I'll do the line there. Fix crack, yes. One screen. Remove tint. Mm, almost. Uh, fix electric windows. Yes. Rear view mirror. Yes. Take for drive. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I might finish painting some bits. I'm just gonna I painted that back section. I'm just gonna brush some paint on it here. Maybe a little bit on the here, let's give it a little sand. Um, and these, these black bits here, just a bit of paint. Can't get the dent out, so I'm just gonna paint this bit so it doesn't look so obvious. Maybe with a bit of paint, you probably won't even notice it's dented until you're right up next to it. Uh, front bar, I'll just give some touch up paint here around the crack areas. 
it's, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm not painting the whole thing. I only bought a little can of touch up paint. That's it, really. It's just this front section, a little dot here. I'm going to try and fix this a bit more. Nah, that's it when you push it in. That's right, push it in, that comes out. So, nah, leave that how it is. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see how much paint I got left over. Might just do a bit more. Put a bit of a spray on here, this rust. And yeah, I'm just been hiding the boot because I got cans all over it. I just know where to put them. It's not from the weekend, it's from weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, yeah, some paint here. Done that section. Looks pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, looks better than having repairs on it. Oh, yeah, spray down here. I butchered the hell out of the. Oh, I hate looking at it. Um, I'm not gonna repair that. I'll just paint down here. Yeah. Give it all a bit of a glue. Can't believe I did that. I'm such a retard. <sighs> Whatever that is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah. It ain't perfect. You guys know what it is. I'll be here. Yeah, I'll just go around the brush and do what I can. Oh, and that painting the whole front bar. <laughs> it looks okay, but now the bonnet looks really stupid. Oh, good enough. Couldn't touch them up. Looks stupid because of how faded it is. Same as that one. Touch that one up. Um, a couple of dots here and there. Down here, a few there. This one. Didn't touch that one with the corner. Ended up hanging on top of that bar just real quickly. Oh, I forgot those. I'll have to get some more paint. Um, yeah, up there. Down there. But yeah, that's it. Alright, what's next? I'm going to put this door back together. I've got to prop this window up properly. And take that one off. The door card and see why the lock doesn't go up and down. I've got the key working. Just some spraying the key in and out. And it turns, but it won't do much. So I need to look in there. Have a look. Alright, let's have a look next morning. Yeah, he's got to scrape away the excess now with a blade. Um, yeah, had a delivery this morning of bed parts. That's the broken one. Here it is. Put a new blade on it and I will scratch it away. What are you doing? I want water! <laughs> Too cold for water. I use it over there. Okay. So. Yeah, it's not too bad. Less visible. It's not wanting to focus. Hey. Still a hole. Might put another injection in. But I just noticed it's peppered with chips all over the windscreen. I reckon they had this facing forwards on the truck and it just got destroyed. Because it was a new windscreen. Never had a rear view mirror glued on. So it had been replaced in the past, if it was years ago, whatever. But there are just chips everywhere. I didn't even notice it until I started looking. And here, you got all those shiny bits in the camera, they're all chips. And that's the worst one. Yeah, over there, that's one. Yeah, so that's cool. Alright, I might, yeah, put another injection in. It has hidden it a little bit. But it's still pretty bad. Uh, oh dear. Alright, round two on that one. We'll see how this. Oh, damn it. Let's see how this mirror, mirror, mirror went. Oh, yeah, she's solid. JB World, my friends. 
Never doubt it. My dad always carried on all the time about it. And I ignored him like I did with everything. Ugh. Once I started using it, I realized he was right. So, Dad, I'm sorry. I know you watch these. <sighs> Get that excess. Take off some sort of film. <laughs> Probably mold. Um, yeah, cool. Well, might clean. Oh, there you go, that's Reggie. Looking at that's Reggie's sticker. This was not. Maybe, yeah, look, that's the old. So it was replaced, they've pulled off the stickers and put them back on. But, never had a. So it's definitely replaced at some point. Like old Reggie label down there, but they never put a mirror on. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it didn't get peppered in the transport, but maybe it did. Ah, uh, right, I'm gonna clean the window, get some, yeah, spray it, and um, just razor blade that shit off. Oh, God. <sighs> I used to drive in the Touareg. This car's so low. There you go, mirror's on. Ah, uh, you probably see the screw there. It's pretty, um... Too long. Um, yeah, I didn't have anything else shorter. Uh, too short, or oh, that size. So that'll do. You can't see it when you're driving. Well, the driver can't see it when they're driving. Yeah, it does look a bit stupid, but it'll work. Now I clean the window with a razor blade, and everything left is just chips. You can see them everywhere. So. One day it'll need a replacement, but not on my watch. All right, um, this door. I'm gonna prop that window still. Let me find something. All right, cool. Doors all on. Looks pretty good. That's real yeah, crappy, but it all works. So I'm happy. Um, and what did I say? It's always the next day when I start recording. Oh yeah, the tent and and you're out there. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna take this door trim off. Oh nice, big bubbles. Yeah. So might as well uh, might as well take this off and have a look. Well, I've done it. As far as I'm getting this car along its journey, interior is pretty much done. Yeah, just the roof liner book. <sighs> yeah, just the roof liner. But besides that, interior is pretty good for its age. I mean, after everything I've done, um, three out of four electric windows work, so that's good. Doors locked because my son likes to play in here now. Him. Yeah, so it's not bad. Wheels and rims. Tires, I mean, they're not too bad. You guys know the work I've done. Anyway, I just threw it up for sale. It's online right now for 13k as is, which I think is a fair price considering what it is. One of one car. Won't take much. A closed door respray for someone, a new bonnet. A uh, new boot to get rid of that rust. And yeah, not much really more to do. My car's broken. Your car? My car's broken. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It is what it is. I didn't take the tint off. And that's all good. Uh, okay, as is. End of the week. I was going to go tomorrow, but I'll probably go end of the week. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Uh... Or Wednesday, probably not tomorrow. It's my wife's birthday, so um, yeah, probably Wednesday or it'll have to be Tuesday next week. So in the week time or in two days time. Car hasn't sold by then. I'll get it registered and then it will be more. I'll be selling it for more. 
I'll probably throw it out for 15. And it's not negotiable, and I don't want any AU skid cars as a swap. Some people think this car is worse than AU skid car, which I'm absolutely sick of all the low balls. Can't stand them. Um, but that's it, and um, uh, more news. This will be it for the channel. Um, I've had to, uh, you know, I know it's not the biggest channel on the planet. I mean, I've only got a few hundred subscribers, but this will be it. Um, uh, but basically just some family stuff. Um, looking after my son now when I'm home. Um, he'll be going to childcare when I'm at work, but save money and all that but besides that it's just um yeah a lot, a lot of family stuff's come up and i don't have time anymore uh this this channel this episode has taken me like two weeks to film pretty much and it's just not it's stressful it's always in the back of my mind to get it done so um i'm not crying mate i don't know why looks like the bright lights <laughs> looks like i'm crying um yeah so unfortunately this will be it for now. I will eventually get back into it, but for now, this is what it is. Uh, yeah, the and you know, this car has taken a year, which I don't care about that. I was going to keep it. It's going to be my you know, daily slash cruise event plus the XD. But as it stands now, we need a second family car. I've already been through this, and so I've purchased another car. I'll put a deposit on another car. So I need to sell this. Um, and that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone who's gotten involved and, um, you know, come along for the journey with the channel. And, yeah, I appreciate all your comments and all your support and all your help. Uh, I know it's not the best content in the world, but you know, I do what I do with what I got. And,. It was never meant to be anything to become super popular. It was just, I did the work anyway, so I might as well, I thought I might as well film it, which takes, makes everything 10 times longer. So it's been awesome. Uh, yeah, so just to recap, this is the last episode for a while. I don't know how long a while is, but I've got fa family priorities and yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like the episode if you like it, and if you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, I mainly post on Instagram because I hate Facebook and it's annoying. But um, I'll put some updates of this if I register or if it sells, and I will stay in touch on that with the channel. But occasionally I'll put an episode out, but it won't be like an in-depth to rebuild thing like this where you know I'm pulling shit apart. And it might be yeah, I bought something to add to my new car that I'm getting. Um, keep an eye on the channel for that because I'll update that. I'll put that on there and that's that's going to be a fun toy as well. Um, yeah, it's a... I don't give away too much but it is from the FPV family. Alright guys, thanks a lot for subscribing and watching. I hope this will make so many people. Take care. And I'll see you around on the channel. Bye.